it's filming. Hi guys, um, it's me Francesca and I'm just doing a, um, a video on Tunisia, my home country, the country where I'm from, well I'm half Tunisian but it's my favourite country and I've only, yeah, been there like, but that was like nearly over 10 years ago. But here's, um, in case you don't know much about Tunisia, I thought I would do um, a presentation on it. I uh, thought you guys could learn a few things since it is awesome. Here's a couple of pictures, you know, looking up on the internet. There's the Sahara Beach Castle with the beach in front of it, you know, Desert Island, um, and there, that's a town. Um, on the back of this, uh, here I have, this is a map, it's in um, Africa, yeah, it's in Africa, North Africa, it is, um, that's where it is on the close-up map of it. This is a very famous mosque, the Habib, and then there's a um, as you can see, a uh, typical Tunisian town, palm trees, old um, houses. Um, here is here's a camel, small Tunisian town. Um, yeah, Tunisian street, woman in Tunisia, uh, people riding camels, and. Um, a Colosseum and the town of Tunis. So yeah, Tunis, Tunisia's um, flag um, looks like this, but it's red and white. So I will start reading. Hang on. Tunisia Europe guys, you might see some more nice pictures. Right. Um, Tunisia is the smallest country in North Africa and is bordered by Algeria to the west, Libya to the, in the southeast and the Mediterranean Sea to the north and east. It is below Italy and Sicily. It is quite westernised. Its capital is Tunis and Tunisia's national flower is Jasmine. Um, Tunisia's favourite sport is water polo and football, the Tunisian national football team, also known as the Eagles of Carthage, won the 2004 African Cup of Nations, which was held in Tunisia. They also represented Africa in the 2005 FIFA Cup of Confederations, which was held in Germany. Um, but they could not go beyond the first round. The Eagles of Carthage have also participated in four World Cup Championships. The Tunisian national handball team has participated in several handball world championships. In 2005, 2005 Tunisia came fourth and um, the national league consists of about 12 teams with ES Sahel and Esperant S. Tunis dominating. The most famous Tunisian handball player is Wissam Hammam. In the 2005 handball championships, own to Niz, Wissam Hamam was ranked as the top scorer of the tournament and the Tunisian national handball team won the African Cup eight times, um, being the team dominating this competition. The Tunisians won the 2010 African Cup in Egypt by defeating the host country. Tunisia only gained independence in 1956, which was led by the first Tunisian president, Habib Bagiba. Tunisia has a range of land of green countrysides with ancient ruins and olive trees to pretty beaches, islands and towns. Um, it also has the Atlas Mountains and Sahara Desert, which is to the south. The country's first president, Habib Bagiba, um, established a strict one-party state and dominated the country for 31 years, repressing Islamic fundamentalism. Um, in establishing rights to women unmatched by any other Arab nation. In 1987, Bagiba was declared medically unfit to continue as president 
and Zeyn El Abdin Ben Ali was his successor. He was won every election since 1987, including his fifth term at the 2009 elections. Um, yeah, however, following a revolution which has ended, there has been a new president since elected and Tunisia is a more democratic country. It wasn't so much before. Um, and as for Tunisia's economy, um, it is ranked as the most competitive economy in Africa and has attracted international countries such as Airbus and Hewitt Packard. But I don't know what Hewitt Packard does like in energy ways. Um, Tunisia has an association agreement uh, with the European Union and is a member of La Francophonie, the Arab Maghreb Union, the Arab League and the African Union. Close relations with Europe, in particular with France and Italy, have been forged through economic cooperation, privatisation and industrial modernisation. This is arguably the most westernised of the Arab countries. Now, as we begin to um, talk about Tunisia's climate, thought you should know um because tunisia is um in the mediterranean it's it's quite hot um as it says here uh it, it's tunisia's clim climate is temperate in the north um with mild rainy winters and hot dry summers the south is desert um and the terrain in the north is filmed with mountains which moving south gives way to a hot dry central plain law tunisia has human rights and equal rights for women allowing them to file for a divorce without the husband's permission being in favor of custody for her children and give women full legal status allowing them to run and own businesses have bank accounts and seek passports under their own authority and earn mostly equal pay tunisia also loves to celebrate national women's independence day which will result in many house and street parties and this will also apply to many other holidays also burkas and unnecessary covering is banned and is always the women's choice whether they want to wear a headscarf. However, in 2006 the former Tunisian president Habib Bagiba declared that he would fight the hijab and which he refers to as ethnic clothing. Um, among Tunisia's tourist attractions as its cosmopolitan capital city of Tunis, the ancient ruins of Carthage, the Muslim and Jewish headquarters of De well it's spelt day D G E R B A. So you might want to pronounce it Jir Jir the Jirba, but it's not, it's Derba. And coastal resorts outside, so Carthage, the Muslim and Jewish quarters of Derba, and coastal resorts outside of monasteries. Uh, outside the monastery. The town where I come from, yeah, because monastery is great because, uh, you know, we may get mixed up with Tunis or, or Derba or Sidi Busaid or, or something. Um, but no, um, Monastir. Monastir! Um, yeah. Um. According to the New York Times, Tunisia is known for its golden beaches, sunny weather, and affordable luxuries. Um, I would have to agree with that. Um, Tunisia's inheritance. The population of Tunisia, from a, soci from a sociological, historical, and genealogical standpoint, are made up of mainly distinct and Arab mixed Arab, Berber and Turkish descent. By 1870 the distinction between Arab mass and the Turkish elite um, had blurred and today the overwhelming majority, about 98%, um, identify themselves as Arabs. Um, there is also small purely Berber 1% at most. From the late 19th century to after World War II, Tunisia has home for to large populations of French and Italians. It was invaded by France in which Italy objected and increased the Italian population. Two, um, 255,000 Europeans in 1956, although a lot, along with the Jewish population, left after Tunisia became independent. Um, the history of the Jews in Tunisia goes back some 2,000 years. In 1948, the Jewish population was an estimated 105,000, but by 2003, and about only 1,500 civil civilizations and people have invaded, migrated to, and have also been assimilated um, into the population over the millennia. With influences of population, that population 
via conquest from Phoenicians, Carthage, Carthaginians, Romans, Vandals, Alans, Arabs, Spaniards, um, Ottoman Turks, and Genesisaries and French, there was a continuing inflow of nomadic, norm, nomadic, nomadic Arabic tribes uh, from Arabia. Religion. The majority of Tunisia's populations uh, of Tunisia's population is Muslim, while the rest follow Christianity. Um, which is the second biggest um, population, and um, Judaism, which is the third country's third biggest uh, population, or other religions. The bulk of Tunisians belong to the Maliki school of Sunni Islam, and their mosques are easily rec easily recognisable by square minarets. However, the Turks brought with them the teachings of the Hanafi school during the Ottoman rule, which still survives today. Um, it survives among the Turkish descended. Arab families today and their mosques are traditionally have octagonal minarets. Um, Sunnis from the majority with non-denominational -de Muslims being the second largest group of Muslims. Tunisia has a sizable Christian community of around over 25,000 adherents, um, mainly Catholics, 22,000 um, and to a lesser degree, Protestants. Judaism is the country's third largest religion um, with 1,500 members. One third of the Jewish um, population lives in and around the capital. The remainder lives on the island of D Derba with um, 39 synagogues where the Jewish community dates back 2,500 years. Um, Derba, an island in the Gulf of Gabies, is Tunisian island, is um, home to the El Gehiba Synagogue, not synagogue, synagogue, um, which is one of the oldest synagogues in the world. Um, many Jews consider it um, a pilgrimage site, which which celebrations taking place there once every year. Um, in fact, Tunisia, along with Morocco, has been said the, to be the Arab countries most accepting um, of their Jewish populations. Um, the constitution declares Islam as the official state religion and requires the president to be Muslim. Aside from the president, Tunisians enjoy a significant um, degree of the religious freedom and right enshrined and protected in its constitution, which guarantees the freedom to practice one's religion. Um, the language Arabic is the official language of Tunisia and Tunisian Arabic, known as Durba, um, is the local vernacular variety of Arabic and is used by the public. Um, there is also a small minority of speakers of Shela, disambiguation needed, um, a Berber language. French also plays a major role in Tunisian society, despite having no official status. It is widely used in education, e.g. in 2010 there were 6 um, million 639,000 French speakers in Tunisia, or about 64% of the population in Italian is understood and spoken by um, a part of Tunisian population. Shop signs and menus and road signs in Tunisia are generally written in both Arabic and French. Um, there are also thousands of English, or 20% of the population can speak or at least make a conversation with the language. Specifically, those who are in their 20s of their ages do speak the language fluently. Um, health rates. Life expectancy at birth was um, 74.60 years in 2010, or 72.60 years for males, and um, 76.70 years for females. Yeah, go females! They can live for longer! Um, and infant, infant mortality in 2004 was 25 per 1,000. Um, why Tunisia is important to me? Most of my family are from Monastir, Tunisia. My grandma had 11 children, but some died. But my dad is 43 and is the youngest of all with um, one maybe similar age. Uh, so I have a lot of family, about a quarter of them are mixed Italians. French and Egyptian. Ever since I left Tunisia, I always felt it was still home because I still love the food, speak the language, listen to the music, cook with olive oil, communicate with my family back there and do daily Arab things. Um, one day I hope to return to it and it will be my life ambition until I do. So yeah guys, that's why Tunisia is important to me. Um, look it up, go there on holiday or whatever. Um, and yeah, it's just a place that not many people have heard of too much because it is Africa's smallest country. It's a really small country. Um, so, yeah, even smaller than Britain. So, thanks for watching. Bye!